YouTube, Wakers Fan 92 here. As you can see, I'm getting ready, as all Laker fans are, for this Rockets and late game, Dwight Howard's first game back. Rocking my Christmas jersey. I love, love, love this jersey. It's a Kobe jersey. Um, it's all I could get. I mean, I tried to get a Nick Young, but they were sold out. But anyway, Laker fans, I'm here to discuss one topic. And that is Dwight Howard. Now, if you simply cannot like Dwight Howard, if you're I'm, now I'm talking to Laker fans, if you don't like Dwight Howard, then I suggest you stop watching this video right now. Because I am one of the few who doesn't blame Dwight Howard. You see, I'm a realist. Okay? Now, Pistol 2 one third, I just watched a video. I'm not going to argue with my cousin, but we don't see eye to eye on this subject. So, I'm going to baffle, I'm going to go on and talk about the reasons why Dwight Howard left. And if you don't like it, I suggest you just stop watching this video right here, right now. Alright, so Stephen Rose, you're going to appreciate this video because I'm an NBA fan. I'm not just, you know, biased when it comes to the Lakers. Like, I'm a realist. I'll talk how I feel. And I'm going to show the world, or I should say, not the world because the world's not fucking watching my video. But... All of YouTube who watch my video, why I think Dwight Howard's not to blame. All right, number one, in a D'Antoni offense, the number one position that doesn't get plays is the center, no matter who he is. Okay, the center is not the key role in a Mike D'Antoni offense. So there's number one. Okay, Dwight Howard was not getting his touches in LA, and he does not like that. And Frank, quite frankly, if I had the talent, like Dwight Howard has, I would be upset with it too, okay? This guy needs 20, 25 touches a game, if not more. And he was getting about 10 to 15 in L.A. So if he wants to be the man, which Dwight Howard wants to be, L.A. wasn't the place for him, okay? That's, that's the number one reason right there. Second reason I'm going to throw at you is if you, if you can't get along with a certain player, then that's it. Like, the chemistry is not going to be there to win a championship. Shaq and Kobe had their arguments, but their talent was so high that it didn't matter if they were arguing. Okay, their chemistry started off great. Once Kobe started to get started to get really, really good at an MVP level, then Shaq was drifting away from the sidekick role. Like he he wanted to be the main man still, and he wasn't. He was getting getting turned into a sidekick. Dwight Howard is the best player on the Houston Rockets team. So if that's the second reason why he left, is if he wasn't getting along with Kobe, two completely different type of personalities, Kobe Bryant and Dwight Howard, wasn't getting along with him, that's it. See you later. It's not going to work. We're not going to win a championship with that kind of chemistry. James Harden, young, laid-back player. Dwight Howard, young, laid-back player. However, they both want to win an NBA championship. So, Dwight Howard, in my opinion, fits best in Houston. Um, what's another reason why I don't blame Dwight Howard? I mean, all right, now last year, Pistol and Laker fans, you want to blame Dwight Howard for not trying as much? Along with the first reason why uh, that I said earlier about not getting his touches, he was also injured. I mean, he had a torn shoulder labor. That, that hurts when you're a big man. And you're going up for rebounds, you're going up to dunk the ball, you're going up for, you know, strong finesse layups. You can't, like, you can't even judge Dwight Howard on that because he was hurt almost all year. Going into the season, he had a back problem. He had just came off, he just came off back surgery in that prior off season. So not only was his shoulder shit, but his back was shit. And he still played decent without getting his touches. Without getting along with Kobe, we still made the playoffs when Kobe went down. Lakers played the best basketball around Dwight Howard. So, I don't know. I, I, Laker fans and NBA fans, I really don't see the hate for Dwight Howard. I'm sorry. I, I really don't. Why? Just because he left our franchise, you can't stand the guy? Like, yeah, granted, a lot of free agents that come to L.A. stay in L.A. for a long period of time. However, if he doesn't fit, he doesn't fit, and that's it. Go to the next best place. And right now, Dwight Howard's playing the best basketball of his career. 
And I honestly wish the best for him. I honestly do. Because I'm a Dwight Howard fan. I like Dwight Howard. He's the best big man in the NBA today. And yeah, he might goof off from time to time where he shouldn't. But, you know, that's that's just his mentality. That's that's just how he is. Like, laid back, easy going. I mean, you, when you play sports as a kid, you play to have fun. And now, I love, obviously, Kobe Bryant's my favorite athlete of all time. So, his mentality is, if you don't win a championship, season's lost. And I get that. I really do. But I also get the other side of, of being an, just think about it, being a professional athlete making millions of dollars for something that you love. You've been loving this. Dwight Howard's been loving this since, I don't know, how long has he been playing basketball? Probably since he was eight, seven, eight years old, nine years old. And now he's in the NBA making millions and millions of dollars. So I get why players are laid back and joke around from time to time. And they honestly need to, uh, with that long, that long ass NBA season. I mean, you gotta joke around from here and there. But when, when Kobe, see, on Kobe's side, he only does that when he's on top. He only does that when the Lakers are playing their best basketball. And I get that, like I said, but I also get where Dwight Howard's coming from. Having a good time, also staying, you know, on top of his game by staying cool and like being serious when it counts. I mean, it's not like Dwight Howard's clowning all the time. It's it's just good to see and have a good time from time to time. You know what I mean? Um, I don't know how else to put it, but Laker fans, it just pisses me off to see how mad you guys get for Dwight Howard leaving the Lakers. Honestly, if he stayed, we we would number one have less money to spend. And two, it wouldn't work anyway with Kobe Bryant, Dwight Howard, old Steve Nash, old Paul Gasol. Like, Lakers are in a rebuilding stage. And, I mean, we'll see if we can get Kevin Love or Camelo Anthony or a long shot of LeBron James, which I'll, I don't think will ever happen. But, I mean, we'll see. But Dwight Howard, it would have, would have never worked for Laker, in, in Lakerland. So, I don't know why people get upset when he left. And I get, uh, maybe I can see why, like, oh, wow, you know, I'm pissed because he left the Lakers. But who cares? Let it go. He's he's one of the best players of all time. Uh, I'm sorry, one of the best big men of all time. And that's it. Hopefully, I, I mean, like I said, I wish the best for him. So, shout out to Stephen Rose, Rockets fan. But honestly, aside from all that, I hope we fucking kick your asses because... I'm a diehard Laker fan, and I hate hate the Rockets. But um, when I look down at the Rock, like I, I do wish Dwight Howard the best of luck in Houston. And I, I like James Harden, so I got no. I hate the Rockets organization as a whole, but I don't hate the players on the team as of right now. I mean, back in the day, yeah, when you guys had Yao Ming and Tracy McGrady, when you guys brought us to Game Seven in 2009, that I was scared shitless. T Mac and Yao Ming were doing their business. Luis Scola, I mean, that was a great squad you guys had. Um, now they're still, you know, what are they, the fourth seed in the West, I think, something like that, third. I forget where, where they rank. Fifth, I don't know. The West is just so close. But anyway, I'm going to end this video here. Shout out to all my subscribers. And Pistol, hope you're not mad at me for making this video. I'm just showing you how I feel. And I saw your video, and I get where you're coming from. I get where all the other Laker fans are coming from, but honestly, then again, I don't get it because, like, I would say, who cares? Like, you shouldn't have hate for a guy for leaving the Lakers for the for the best, you know, for the good of himself. Yeah, he left us in a bit of a hole. I mean, I mean that was gonna happen anyway. Like, anyway, I'm gonna end this video here. I'm making this video way too long. All right, so uh, about to go do some shit before I watch some basketball, so I'm out, deuce.